Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between laser beam machining and plasma arc machining. Laser beam machining is one thermal energy based non traditional machining process where material is removed by melting and vaporization through the action of a high energy density laser beam. Plasma arc machining, also known as plasma arc cutting, utilizes a high velocity jet of plasma to supply thermal energy, or heat for melting and vaporizing the workpiece. So, let's look into the basic differences between laser beam machining and plasma arc machining in a tabular form. Difference number 1, in laser beam machining, a high intensity beam of laser, coherent photon particles, is used to supply heat for melting and vaporizing the workpiece material, whereas, in plasma arc machining, a high temperature plasma jet, highly excited ions and electrons, is used as the heat source for melting and vaporizing the workpiece material. Number 2, in laser beam machining, no separate gas is required to supply to generate laser beam as it is directly generated using the lysing medium, neodymium doped YAG, neodymium doped glass, ruby, carbon dioxide, with the assistance of flash tube, whereas, in plasma arc machining, suitable plasma forming gas, air, argon, nitrogen, hydrogen, is required to supply continuously to a closed gas chamber under high pressure, which ultimately comes out as high temperature plasma jet. Number 3, no electric arc is required to establish in laser beam machining process, whereas, in plasma arc machining, an electric arc is essentially required to supply immense heat for converting the gas into plasma. This arc can be constituted between a tungsten electrode and nozzle or workpiece. Number 4. Although melting and vaporization both occur simultaneously, most of the material is removed in the form of vapor in laser beam machining. Only small percentage is removed in molten form, whereas, both melting and vaporization occur in plasma arc machining too, however, majority of the material is blown away by the high velocity plasma jet when the workpiece material remains in molten state. A comparatively smaller fraction of the material is removed in vaporized form. Number 5. In laser beam machining, the laser beam characteristics, such as beam diameter, energy density, incidence timing, incidence pattern, etc., can be controlled effectively and easily. Such parameters can also be changed rapidly as per the desired level, whereas, plasma arc machining is less flexible in terms of parameter controlling and their variation. Number 6, in laser beam machining, laser beam can be allowed to strike the workpiece either continuously or intermittently, as in the case of femtoscan laser, whereas, in plasma arc machining, plasma jet is usually allowed to continuously strike the workpiece. Number 7, in laser beam machining, the curve width can be maintained very small, even below 0.1 mm, whereas, in plasma arc machining, curve is relatively wider. 3 to 10 millimeters. Number 8, a narrow localized heat affected zone can be noticed in the specimens after cutting by laser beam machining. So it causes very little thermal damage to the workpiece, whereas, specimens cut by plasma arc machining can have significantly wider heat affected zone. The extent of thermal damage made in plasma arc machining is more. Number 9. Laser beam machining process capability is affected by optical properties of the workpiece surface, transparent, translucent and opaque. Highly reflective surface can reduce rate of heat input, whereas, plasma arc machining process is not affected by the optical properties of the workpiece surface. And, difference number 10, laser beam machining process is not noisy and can be carried out without specific personal protections, whereas, plasma arc machining process is very noisy. Thus proper hearing protection, like ear muffler, is needed for operators, 